Oh, hey there, fellow traveler. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie some knots. I'm here on my front porch um, or at my parents' house. There's a big chair over there. I don't know why. I think my brother broke it. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to tie some knots. Uh, the basic one um, that we're going to be starting off with is the bowline. This can be used for many different purposes, um, especially if you're setting up your campsite. So uh, my campsite for today is my front porch. Um, and then we'll get going on a few different ones um, and show you some knots, show you the ropes, one would say. All right, so the first knot that we're going to do is the bowline knot. So you're going to want to get one end of your rope free. And then, so we're going to make sure there's a lot left over there so that you can loop it around. Um, so you are going to make a circle here. And then you are going to go through the circle or the loop. You're going to go back over here. Here's your long end over here. You're going to go back and then through the loop. And then you're just going to pull it tight. So then it makes this little man in a life jacket. You can pull him nice and tight there. And then you have your loop. So this loop can be used for pretty much anything. Your bowline knot is pretty tight um, and it will keep. Um, so. For example, if you wanted to put it around a tree, so here's this post, ignore the broken chair in the background, but um, here is this post that I have. So you want to go around the tree or post, um, and then you're gonna make your loop, and then you're gonna go through, around, and through and pull. And then, Mine's a little backwards, but it still has that same effect. So your little man in his life jacket, see his head, and then the life jacket there. All right, so now I'm going to go all the way down to my next tree. And so you might be wondering, how do I keep my, um, my rope up? How do I possibly hang stuff? So I'm going to go around this tree and I'm going to make a hitch. So I'm going to go like this and make a little circle here. And then I'm going to slip that end through. And then we're just gonna go back and pull it tight. So then we have a nice tight thing. You can make this smaller here by pulling this through. And then if you pull it through enough, we can then just go like that, make sure it's nice and tight, and then we can daisy chain the rest of it off if you wanted to, um, which is just going like so. So then you're um, making your daisy chain. So then the rest of your rope, easily able to pull that off. And you're bowling on the other end here. And it keeps your rope nice and sturdy. Cool thing about the daisy chain is that it pulls all the way out, and then it, because you made a slip knot and a quick release, you got your rope all the way down once again. Okay, knot number three. So uh, now we're going to be making the Cheerio knot. So we have our bowline still attached to the opposite end, um, and we're going to just make it as tight as possible um, by pulling here on our loose end. So then we're gonna go and we're going to use the um, the tightened end here to make our Cheerio knot. So um, if you see here, um, so here's our loose end, here's our tightened end. We're gonna take our finger here and we're gonna go over the rope with that. And then we're gonna just make a couple Cheerios, um, as they are called, um, <laughs> to then make our knot. So I'm going to use four. You can use as many as you'd like. Um, the more you use, the higher friction you're going to get. And then you're going to go back here, um, and then you can just go through with your rope. And then it allows you to, you're going to tighten all that up. Make sure it's nice and steady. But now that you have that, you can make your um, 
you can make your rope as loose or as tight as possible um, just using that rope. So I made mine super loose, um, but also if you tighten it, um, which you can, um, then it makes it super tight again. So it's a great knot to use if you need to adjust some things, um, such as uh, tents. So those are three examples of some knots I really like to use when I am um, going camping. And so they're, I find them very useful, especially if you're setting up some tarps, tents, or other equipment um, just to make a shelter uh, or even to hang a clothesline. All of those knots, super helpful um, and highly suggest. So uh, if you want to check out more of my videos, uh, check out um, the rest of my channel, The Quarantine Backpacker, and uh, have a great day.